In 2016, recreational marijuana became legal in California, creating a dynamic new industry in the Golden State. But since marijuana is not fully legal at the federal level, this has created a new gray area when California cannabis products are sold in states that don't have full legalization. Elliot Lewis, the CEO of Catalyst Cannabis Company, is hoping to bring more awareness to this problem through a recent lawsuit he filed against the California Department of Cannabis Control. The lawsuit alleges people are gaming California's system and diverting untold millions of pounds of legally grown cannabis to the illicit market across the U.S. It claims California's industry regulators are fully aware of this, but not doing anything about it. Here's where the main issue lies, according to the lawsuit. Phony straw man operations, known as burner distributors, will purchase cannabis from a legitimate grower. They'll pay state cultivation taxes, but not the required state excise taxes. Burners will then sell the legal cannabis on the illicit market, either within the state for prices that legal dispensaries can't compete with, or out of state. Under legalization, this should not be happening since state regulators should be using the track and trace system designed to prevent this type of problem. But the lawsuit alleges regulators are satisfied with collecting cultivation taxes and simply don't pursue action against burner distributors. Instead, the state only investigates people who are reported by others and have made the purposeful decision to turn a blind eye to illegal burner distros in order to keep that excess cultivation tax money flowing. And the state does collect plenty in taxes. In 2020, more than $1.1 billion was brought in from the legal cannabis industry, and it's on track to exceed $1.27 billion in 2021. However, the lawsuit does not seek monetary damages. Instead, it is seeking a court injunction that would compel the state to shut down the alleged illegal cannabis distribution network. While the allegations are confined to California's system and the requirement for distribution permits, the problem of burner distributors has the potential to gain national attention if more states decide to fully legalize.